Hello everyone my name is Dr Anand and let's start the part 2 of the series so yes thank you so much for all the love and support and i hope you are able to understand let's start off this chapter the important one liners and before starting any segment we always have a quote and what is the quote for today the quote for today is in hindi jo kehte hain ki jisse chaho jisse chaho usse kuch mat chaho जिससे चाहो उससे कुछ मत चाहो जिंदगी भगवान की एक बहुत महंगी गिफ्ट है तो बहुत खुश होकर यूज करें लाइफ इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल थिंग्स यू कैन एवर हैव सो ऑलवेज एनरिच योर सेल्फ एंड स्टार्ट योर डे विद अमेजिंग पॉजिटिविटी बिकॉज लाइफ इज जस्ट वन वॉट इज द नॉर्मल हार्ट रेट ऑफ अ न्यू बॉर्न वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन लेट सॉल्व इट द नॉर्मल हार्ट रेट ऑफ ऑफ अ बेबी ओके द नॉर्मल हार्ट रेट ऑफ अ चाइल्ड ऑफ वन टू टू ईयर ऑफ एज इज अराउंड एटी टू वन थर्टी बीट्स पर मिनट द नॉर्मल हार्ट रेट ऑफ अ न्यू बॉर्न इज वन ट्वेंटी टू वन सिक्सटी बीट्स पर मिनट normal values we should all know the normal heart rate of a newborn is 120 to 160 beats per minute the normal respiratory rate of a baby is 40 to 60 per minute what is the normal spo2 what is the normal spo2 of a newborn at first minute of life the normal spo2 of a newborn at first minute of life is 60 to 65% and as the every minute increases it in increases by 5 so the spo2 of a newborn at first minute of life is 60 to 65% Second minute of life, it is sixty-five to seventy percent. Third minute of life, seventy to seventy-five percent. Fourth minute of life, seventy-five to eighty percent. So this is an MCQ, the SPO two for newborn at first minute of life. The answer is sixty to sixty-five percent. Acrocyanosis, acrocyanosis in a newborn, is it normal? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Acro means periphery, and cyanosis means bluish discoloration. so bluish discoloration of the periphery of the palms and the soles yes this finding is a normal in newborn can be seen dekha ja sakta hai ek bachche mein acrocyanosis if i ask you a question here only in the apgar score in the apgar score how much number acrocyanosis is given in the apgar score remember apgar score 0 1 and 2 if the child is totally blue zero if the child is peripheries are blue that is known as acrocyanosis and if the baby is totally pink totally pink the answer is apgar score 2 done next question a soft ejection systolic murmur in a newborn is a normal finding in a newborn we can see a murmur because the pda is closing and everything so you can see a soft ejection systolic murmur what is the normal cft what is cft capillary filling time it is usually less than 3 seconds the capillary filling time in a baby is usually less than 3 seconds uh, yeah so you know capillary filling time if i put my finger on the baby's sternum If I put my finger on the baby's sternum and count for three seconds, one thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three. After counting for three seconds, I will remove my finger and whatever discoloration which has happened because of my finger in how many seconds it is going back to normal. So it is less than three seconds. It will go back to normal. Okay, number one. Number two, single most indicator of cardio respiratory function in a neonat is a good skin color. Single, it's like a one liner. Single most indicator. indicator of good cardio respiratory function in a newborn is a good skin color okay now one more mcq they ask in exam what is lanugo so lanugo are the hairs at the shoulder and the back so they are basically are the hairs which are seen definitely in preterm babies they are the hair at the shoulder and the back so hair at the shoulder and the back so that is known as lanugo if you have hair at the head it do you call that lanugo no hair on the scalp this is normal in a term baby but hair at the shoulder and the back that is seen in preterm babies what is the normal temperature of labor room the normal temperature of labor room the normal temperature of nicu also is 22 to 26 25 to 28 degree celsius both are equivalent answers please remember guys life is beautiful before opening the paper five deep breaths 1 2 3 4 5 hold the bed for 2 seconds and then 1 2 3 4 5 count karte hue exhale karna hai before doing anything big in life whenever you are angry or whenever you are too much happy or 
एवरी डे इन द मॉर्निंग इफ इट इज पॉसिबल गाइज इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू डू फोकस इन लाइफ जिंदगी का मकसद है ये तो मेडिटेशन प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल एंड मेडिटेशन में द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट ओनली वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव स्लोली इन इनहेल वाइल काउंटिंग वन एंड टू होल्ड द ब्रेथ फॉर वन फॉर टू सेकेंड्स दैन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सेल सो दिस इज समथिंग वी ऑलवेज डू बिफोर द पेपर एंड ऑल द एक्साइटमेंट और ऑल द स्ट्रेस और टेकी कार्डिया इट ऑल रिलीव डाउन एंड देन यू कैन आंसर बेटर okay <clears throat> next yeah optimal level of humidity to maintained in the incubator includes 30 to 30, 60 degree percentage for maintaining thermoregulation in babies it's okay forget it yeah now this is important what is the normal temperature of newborn what is the normal temperature of newborn the normal temperature of newborn is 36.5 to 37.5 degree celsius and if the baby has temp this is ex axillary okay this is axillary temperature this is axillary temperature and 36 to 36.5 is known as mild hypothermia 32 to 36 degree celsius temperature is moderate hypothermia and less than 32 degree celsius is severe hypothermia and one more thing mild hypothermia is also known as mild hypothermia is also known as cold stress it is also known as cold stress and one more thing also upsc paper it came that a mother while touching her child a mother while touching her child she told that her baby's palms and soles are cold palms and soles are cold so palms and soles are cold the answer is this only that is mild hypothermia normally palms and soles should be warm but in this video in this like in this question if the palms and soles are cold but the center part is warm means the baby is bacha thanda ho raha hai the baby is suffering from mild hypothermia which is also known as cold stress acha likha bhi hai yahan pe mild hypothermia is also known as cold stress hypothermia how does a hypothermia baby presents see hypo will have all hypo hypo will have all hypo he will have hypo activity he will have hypoxia he will have decrease urine output you know are you understanding so hypo 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 he can have later hyponatremia also or he can have hypo kalemia also theek okay? hai sodium potassium everything can go down in hypothermia patient can he have hyperkalemia no the answer will be no can he have hypernatremia the answer is no this is an mcq that's why i'm telling all hypos will cause hypos remember that okay hmm. okay body temperature in a newborn is regulated by the breakdown of brown fat yes that's an important question mcq aata hai this is an mcq actually every single line is an mcq here okay this is important very this this is really important so body temperature in a newborn is regulated by breakdown of brown fat we all know that newborns don't shiver bachcha aise aise kaap nahi sakta newborns baby has a non shivering thermogenesis nst okay newborns don't shiver they have a non shivering thermogenesis by the breakdown of brown fat exam entrance question number 1 brown fat hota kaha hai where all the brown fat is present brown fat is present at the nape of the neck brown fat is present at the axilla between the scapula renal adrenal all these places where brown fat is not present it is not present in the mesentery <clears throat> it is not present in the mesentery in sense it's an mcq newborns have a non shivering thermogenesis that i have already told you methods of heat loss in a newborn yeah there are various methods of heat loss in a newborn we have conduction convection radiation evaporation okay that you should know most common method of heat loss is the radiation okay which occurs when the baby is kept near a cold surface fine no problem so we all know that if you keep the baby on a cold surface if you if you ha huh. so yeah if you be, keep the baby on the cold surface that is known as conduction bacche ko thande farsh pe rakhenge to jo heat loss hota hai usko bolte hain conduction okay what is convection if you keep the baby near a fan or a open window if you keep the baby near a fan or a open window that is known as convection okay which which is method of heat loss happens through the skin through the skin the method of heat loss happens through the skin is known as evaporation okay and if you keep the baby near a cold wall of nursery that method of heat loss is known as radiation okay so that you should know theek hai uh, and uh, yeah and which is which method of heat loss is which has to happen jo hota hi hai aap kuch nahi kar sakte uske andar the method of heat loss which has to happen 
विच हैज टू हैपन जो होता ही है तो हमारी स्किन से द ई वेपोरेशन इज समथिंग विच इज लाइक वेरी नेचुरली हैज टू हैपन ठीक है डन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मोस्ट कॉमन मेथड अच्छा हाँ दो अच्छा ये आ गया ना द मोस्ट कॉमन मेथड ऑफ हीट लॉस दैट इज इनएविटेबल विच हैज टू हैपन इज ई वेपोरेशन डू न्यू बॉन्स क्राई न्यू बॉन्स डू क्राई बट दे डोंट हैव टीयर्स दे डोंट हैव टीयर्स फ्रंटल साइनस दिस इज एन एम सी क्यू विच साइनस इज एबसेंट इन अ न्यू बॉर्न सो फ्रंटल साइनस इज एबसेंट इन अ न्यू बॉर्न दे डेवलप बाय सेवन टू एट ईयर्स आर न्यू बॉर्न कलर ब्लाइंड येस ऑल न्यू बॉर्नस आर कलर ब्लाइंड दिज ऑल आर एम सी क्यूज ओके जस्ट कीप लिस्ट thing to me like a story and you know just enjoy okay <clears throat> so i hope we are able to understand has everyone understood this much yes or yes yes bahut acche se padhna hai dil se padhna hai mazedar tarike se bilkul happy happy ho gaye wo kehte hai na ki ek choti si kavita thi na purani si ek ki dosto shehar ki is daud mein daud ke karna kya hai agar yahi jeena hai dosto to fir marna kya hai pehli barish mein train late hone ki fikr hai भूल गए भीगते हुए टहलना क्या है सीरियल के किरदारों का सारा हाल है मालूम पर माँ का हाल पूछने की फुर्सत कहाँ है अब रेत पे नंगे पाओ टहलते क्यों नहीं 108 है चैनल पर दिल बहलते क्यों नहीं दुनिया से तो टच में है पर पड़ोस में कौन रहता है जानते तक नहीं मोबाइल लैंडलाइन सबकी भरमार है लेकिन जिगरी दोस्त तक पहुंचे ऐसे तार कहाँ है कब डूबते हुए सूरज को देखा था याद है कब जाना था कि शाम का गुजरना क्या है तो दोस्तों शहर की इस दौड़ में दौड़ के करना क्या है अगर यही जीना है दोस्तों तो फिर मरना क्या है अ चाइल्ड सिटिंग अपराइट एंड रिफ्यूजिंग टू लाई डाउन रिक्वायर्स इमीजिएट नर्सिंग इंटरवेंशन एज इट सजेस्ट सीवियर स्पाजम ड्यू टू एस्तमा दैट्स वेरी वेल पुट मतलब बच्चा अगर लेटना नहीं चाह रहा घबराहट हो रही है और बैठने में प्रेफर कर रहा है मतलब उसको कुछ स्पाजम सा आया हुआ है कुड बी अस्तमा अ चाइल्ड सिटिंग अपराइट एंड रिफ्यूजिंग टू लाई डाउन ही हैज अ बिग इशू स्पाजम और समथिंग यू नीड टू रूल आउट एस्तमा वॉट इज द डब्ल्यू एच ओ कट ऑफ ऑफ द रेस्पिरेटरी ब्रेट दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वी ऑल नो दैट जीरो टू टू मंथ Three months to one year, one year to five year, and more than five year. So sixty, fifty, forty. Now here, which is twenty, has been done. Sixty, fifty, forty, and twenty. Okay. So sixty, fifty, forty, twenty. Zero to two months, R R more than sixty is fast breathing. Three months to one year, R R more than fifty. One year to five year, R R more than forty, and more than five year, R R R R means respiratory rate. So more than twenty. So sixty, fifty, forty, twenty. Okay. Ratio of respiration. to compression ratio as per the neonatal resuscitation program protogram is 3 is to 1 yes we all know that we do the thumb technique 1 2 3 like this 1 like 1 2 3 nahi karna thumb karna 1 2 3 and 1 person will do back and mass 1 so 3 is to 1 1 2 3 1 1 2 3 1 so 3 is to 1 is the ratio of a cpr in a newborn baby and if it is more if it is a well apart from newborn baby it is 30 is to 2 it is 30 is to 2 if you are alone agar aap akele kar rahe hain to 30 bari aap chest compression karenge do bari aap back and mass karenge if you have a friend with you if you have a friend with you two people are there then the chest compression and ventilation ratio will be 15 is to 2 it will be 15 is to 2 higher concentration of oxygen in premature infant can lead to what the answer is रेटिनोपैथी ऑफ प्री मेच्योरिटी दैट्स ट्रू ज्यादा ऑक्सीजन देंगे ज्यादा नया ब्लड वेसल्स बनेगा रेटिना में और लेकिन वो वेसल्स बहुत बहुत ही फ्रेजाइल होते हैं उससे हेमरेज होने के चांस ज्यादा हो जाते हैं दैट इज नोन एज रेटिनोपैथी ऑफ प्री मेच्योरिटी इन इंग्लिश इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द मोर ऑक्सीजन यू गिव टू अ प्री मेच्योर बेबीज बॉडी ही विल हैव अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रेटिना Known as retinopathy of prematurity. Okay, so okay, very importantly, milia. Now, what is milia? Number one, this is a normal finding in a newborn. Okay. Number two, why it happened? There are the white dots on the nose and the face. That's it. So white dots on the nose and the face. That is known as milia. So one of the conditions in a newborn which looks abnormal but is normal. One more condition we have erythema toxicum. Erythema toxicum. E for erythema. E for eosin. no fills accumulation i remember in our fast track classes regular classes c plus videos everywhere we have shown this thousand times so erythema toxicum e for erythema toxicum e for eosinophils accumulation and this condition again looks abnormal but it is completely normal sir hota kya hai bacche mein dane hote hain pus pus ke points hote hain sath mein jo jo inka base hai un points ka wo bada reddish hota hai so the in simple words the baby will have a maculopapular pustular rash with 
and erythematous base. So they are basically some white papules or pustular rash on erythematous base in the newborn that is known as erythema toxicum. Now what is this? What is Mongolian spot? That is an MCQ again. So Mongolian spot are the bluish black well demarcated areas of pigmentation. Where do you see the most common location for Mongolian spot is lumbosacral region. The most common location for even a neural tube defect, myelomeningocele and all that, that also is a lumbosacral region. Sir, kya ye abnormal hai ki abnormal hai? It's perfectly normal. Sir, will it disappear? Yeah, it will disappear by one year of age. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Intraosseous drug administration is typically used when the child is critically ill and under age three. Okay, fine. I got it. What is the normal length of a baby? The normal length of a baby is around 50 centimeter and 50 ka 100 cup hota hai. When does length doubles? Length doubles by 4 years and triples by 12 years. Length doubles by 4 years and triples by 12 years. So 50 centimeter is newborn. 100 centimeter is a 4 year old boy and 150 centimeter is a 12 year old boy. And one more thing remember that 50 and 100. So 4 year old is 100 centimeter. What is the height of a one year old? One year old is 75 centimeter and two year old is 90 centimeter. One year old is 75 centimeters. So remember 50, 75, 90, then 100 and then 150. So one year old is 75 centimeter and two year old is 90 centimeter. Umbilical cord. Umbilical cord, how many artery, how many veins we have? So we all know that umbilical cord, we have two artery and one vein. So we have two artery and one vein. If a baby has one one umbilical artery and one umbilical vein what will you think of if a baby has a one umbilical artery and one umbilical vein you will think of renal a genesis you will think of renal a genesis okay uh yeah done normally umbilical cord should be cleaned with normal water and dried properly with clean towel okay signs of umbilical cord infection yes what are the signs of umbilical cord infection nothing they'll be bleeding from the umbilical cord they'll be they'll be reddened base around the umbilical cord some discharge will come of the umbilical cord so yeah that's true that's true what's the normal head circumference of a baby the normal head circumference of a baby is around 35 centimeter the normal head circumference friends of a baby is around 35 centimeter okay Number two, what is microcephaly and what is macrocephaly? See, pehle hota tha, before guidelines, head circumference less than minus three was micro, but now it is head circumference less than minus two standard deviation. Is microcephaly and head circumference more than two standard deviation? That is macrocephaly. So we have microcephaly and macrocephaly. So head circumference less than minus two and head circumference more than plus two. So that is a new change latest in this uh, uh, year they have told minus two plus two what's the normal head circumference of a newborn the normal head circumference of a newborn is around 35 centimeter is around 35 centimeter and how does the head circumference increases so we have zero to two months uh, okay, 0 to 3 months, 3 months to 6 months and 6 months to 12 months. How does the head circumference increases? In the beginning 3 months of life, remember 2, 1 and 0.5. 2, 1 and 0.5. In the beginning 3 months of life, head circumference increases by 2 cm per month. The next 3 months in degree increases by 1 cm per month. And next six months, it increases by 0.5 centimeter per month. So this is the rate of the increment of head circumference.